Hello, I'm Peter Vaughan and today I'm at the NEC at the Caravan Camping and Motorhome Show 2023. And this video is designed to bring you just some of the show highlights, some of the new models launched here this February. It might be a little noisy, some of the stands aren't quite built because this is the day, last day before the show opens to the public. But it's been filmed today to bring you the video as early as we possibly could. If you're coming to the show, don't forget to look out at all the vans that we highlight. And if you're not coming to the show, well, you won't miss out because these are the vans you should have seen. Now this must be one of the most hotly anticipated new launches at the show. It's Autosleeper's M-Star, their first van conversion on the Mercedes Sprinter. Now we've seen plenty of Autosleeper coach builds on the Sprinter, but now there's a van conversion to sit at the top of their van conversion range. It's not on sale yet. When it does go on sale, it will be priced at around £115,000, but that does include a very, very high spec. So you get the parking package from Mercedes with sensors all around. You get the 163 bhp engine, you get the nine-speed automatic gearbox. What else do you get? Well, one of the key features is that it's got Audi heating. So radiator-based heating throughout the vehicle, probably a first for a van conversion. Now inside, the layout is very much like the existing Peugeot-based Warwick XL, but this is a bigger van, 7.15 meters long and you will need a C1 category license to drive it because the gross weight is 3880 kilograms. Now, inside, yes, you've got this big rear lounge with armrests and scatter cushions. You get a 19 and a half inch TV with a sound bar. But the thing I really like, Autosleepers have modernized their interior with these black handles and this concave effect for the top locker doors. So leather will be an option in the rear lounge, but you get leather cab seats and heated cab seats as standard. It's a really good kitchen too, because you've got this full cooker with separate grill and oven, three gas rings and a mains hot plate. A worktop extension here, extractor hood, microwave over on this side and the 157 litre fridge with the door that opens from either side. You've also got a further worktop extension at this end, and it's a really generous one. And just one-handed operation on that as well. And then forward of the fridge and uh, microwave, you've got your washroom with a separate wet area. Now everyone seems to have to have a pop top camper in their range now and Adria actually have had the Active in their portfolio for many years but it's just not come to the UK before. Now you'll be able to have a right hand drive Renault traffic based Active Duo like this one and they're talking about availability from the summer priced from 62795 which undercuts a lot of the VW based campers in this market by quite some margin. But this isn't just another side kitchen camper van because you've got twin sliding doors and twin sliding doors that you can actually use. This near side door isn't just access into the back of the kitchen or something, you've still got proper access in and out of the van. You've also got access of course to your fridge, so if you're sitting outside you don't need to come right in to get another cold beer. The kitchen, however, is quite compact and you've just got a combined single burner gas hob and combined with the sink there. But 
storage, more storage behind in this full height unit, and really importantly, a sliding seat system on rails in the floor. Up until now, Chausson's camper vans have come out of the Auto Trail factory in Grimsby. But now there's a more continental style of camper van from Chausson. This one's actually built in Italy at the Trigano Group camper van factory. And the layout is much more continental too, with a half Danette lounge up front, big over cab sunroof, so it's nice and light up front. And then at the back, this one's actually got bunk beds, but not more normally they'll probably come to the UK with just a fixed double bed across the back. So let's take a look inside. So no real surprises in here, but I do like this fold in half table. It certainly gives you a lot more space when you're traveling as a rear passenger. And then the kitchen has got supersized drawers, a nice molded worktop, and I particularly like the split cover for the sink. Leaves you a little bit of worktop if, uh, if you need it when you're preparing a meal. Now here's another new camper van from another Trigano Group brand. This time the Italian brand Remor, and it's the Horace 66. And the great thing about this, well as well as the uh, price, is that it's a very UK layout. And yes, price. Well, with camper van prices seemingly skyrocketing, here is a camper van with a show price of 59,995. That looks great value. So this is the 6 metre or 5.99 metre long wheelbase Fiat Ducato and of course with the classic two berth rear lounge layout. Table is removable just as you'd expect in, well if this was a British camper van. And then the size of these settees, they're each at least 1.97 metres long, almost 6 foot 6. So if you're tall this could be a great model to consider and of course you can have either twin single beds or pull the two together to make a giant double at night. Now this model has been developed specially for the UK. You can't buy a Remor Horus 66 anywhere else in Europe so they all come right hand drive. They all come with a Thetford triplex cooker so you've got three gas rings and a combined oven and grill. This model, unlike the other Horace models, also comes with an underslung gas tank. Other things, well, you've got a decent sized washroom here with a bench cassette toilet and a fixed corner sink. No horrible flippy flappy plastic sink that feels as if it's going to come off in your hand. Maybe your budget runs to a little bit more than a 60 grand camper van. Something like this. 12 tonne Morello Empire Liner at £468,000. It's on a 9.65 metre Mercedes Atigo chassis. Should we take a look inside and see what you get for nearly half a million pounds? So inside this fabulous home from home, you've got a bar style layout with three captain's chairs around this fixed table. And then a sumptuous L-shaped sofa for you to relax on. Behind that, your kitchen includes a 200 litre domestic fridge freezer, Corian worktops, an espresso machine. It really is home from home. But the rear of the motorhome is even more impressive. Just look at the size of this bathroom area. Truly domestic sized shower, marine toilet. Well, how many toiletries do you need? Because you could spread them all out around that basin. There's even a safe in the cupboard over there. And well, I think you'll have enough space in a bedroom like this. And this might just possibly be my favourite van of the show. Certainly one of my favourites. For a start, it's based on a VW T6.1, so you know it'll drive nicely, and it's got the 150 engine and DSG automatic as standard. It's compact, 5.88 metres long, and the price isn't too ridiculous either. 78,832, as you see it here, with the awning, with satellite TV, with this duotone cab, with the alloy wheels. 
Certainly not short of spec. And look at it, doesn't it look cute? So, this is the Weinsberg Excursion 500 LT Edition Pepper, and the habitation door is right at the back of the vehicle on the off side. And then inside the, the door, you've got a 98 litre fridge. Again, very convenient if you want to get a cold drink when you're outside. Opposite the entrance is a full height wardrobe. There's also a sort of garage area, certainly somewhere to keep your barbecue, your outdoor chairs, all that sort of thing, because there's a really good sized external loading door. Forward of that, there's a sliding door into a good sized wash basin with a swing wall shower arrangement. Even the kitchen's a good size, although there isn't an oven. Up front, it's a very British layout with these side settees. No rear travel seats in this model, although there is a fixed, a fixed bed version with rear travel seats. The clever bit in this one though, as well as having this comfortable lounge area, you've got near instant double bed that just pulls down from the ceiling. And that is a 1.95 metre long double bed. We looked at Remor's new van conversion earlier on. How about this as a coach built model? Well, if you're looking for a family motorhome and you haven't got mega bucks to spend, well, this motorhome starts at 61495 at the show and it is a true family motorhome. Based on the Ford Transit, so it should be nice to drive. You've got big over cab bed for mum, mum and dad and bunk beds across the rear. So this is the Remor Killig 9, and you've got a really family-sized dining, relaxing area up front with Pullman dinettes on either side. A smaller dinette, perhaps for the kids over on this side, and a bigger area over here with four seat belts. You've got swivel cab seats as well, big family-sized fridge freezer with a separate bottle drawer underneath, even an oven, although it is uh, a bit high. The RP Rebellion 4 is one of our most popular videos. If you haven't seen it, it is a must view. But this is the new two berth version, of course the Rebellion 2. As shown here, £196,000. But it's all electric, there's a new toilet, it's even got a dishwasher in, and you've still got that fabulous rear lounge and the lift-up tailgate at the back. As you go round the show, don't forget to look out for stickers like this, the MMM Motorhome Award winners and also the Campervan Award winners. And you'll see pull-up banners like this so that they're even more noticeable. These are some of the best vans of 2023. Everything that we've looked at up until now, from the smallest camper van to that giant Morello, has been driven by diesel. Not this one. This is the Revolution from Campervan Co. And it's an all-electric vehicle based on the Toyota Pro-Ace Electric. The 75 kilowatt hour and a range of about 200 miles. And it's not just an EV but all the camping side is electric too. Electric heating, electric cooking, etc. Inside, it might look a bit like your traditional side kitchen camper van, but there's more to this than the first greets the eye because this part of the kitchen here, the main body of the kitchen is actually removable. You can take it out, leave it at home and actually put in an extra travel seat. So this can be up to a seven seater or the kitchen can go outside and be used in an awning. Very versatile. So that was a few highlights of the 2023 Caravan Camping and Motorhome Show. Hope you've enjoyed the video and if you do come to the show don't forget to pop along to our Premier Park stand in Hall 4 and pick up the brochure for the latest Premier Parks, a hundred of the top campsites around the UK. Thanks for watching.